the federal government is coming for your Netflix catalog. One of the details buried in Justin Trudeau's mandate letter to the new Minister of Canadian Heritage, Stephen Gilbo, is a section that will impact the catalogs potentially of streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and even the new Disney service. This is what Justin Trudeau said to the minister. Work with the Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry to introduce legislation by the end of 2020 that will take appropriate measures to ensure that all content providers, including internet giants, offer meaningful levels of Canadian content in their catalogs, contribute to the creation of Canadian content in both official languages, promote this content, and make it easily accessible on their platforms. The legislation should also consider additional cultural and linguistic communities. So what the government is saying here is that within the next year, there must be legislation that forces Netflix not only to produce and showcase Canadian content, but to do it in a way that makes it very prominent. So when you log in and it gives you that list at the top of recommended movies, well, as one friend of mine pointed out, it might not be that far off that there has to be a bar pretty high up that says Canadian movies or Canadian TV shows. Now, Canadian content laws are already rampant in the television and traditional broadcast radio sectors. The reason those Canadian content laws exist is because there was a time when these companies found it more cost effective just to buy American shows than to produce Canadian programs. Now, despite the fact that there is still a lot of great American programming, there's also good Canadian programming now. This idea that you need to force companies to showcase it is not really all that appropriate in 2019 or 2020. But the problem that we have here is that Canadians also can access better programming if they don't want whatever a service is offering them. The second you say that something has to be a Canadian show, you're putting another priority above quality. Why couldn't it just be a good show that happens to be Canadian? For example, through Netflix, I've managed to find my way into watching Spanish shows, German shows, other things that I may prefer to whatever else is on that the Canadian government wants me to see. The reason that streaming services exist and have become so popular is because people are wanting to circumvent the traditional stranglehold that broadcast regulators and broadcasters have had on what you can view. Streaming services let you choose what you want to watch. So for the government to throttle that in some way is just plain wrong. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, hang on, the government's saying you have to do more Canadian content. There's nothing about taking away other content. Well, not so fast. University of Ottawa law professor Michael Geist, who specializes in internet law, said that Netflix or other similar companies may be forced with a couple of options depending on what percentage of overall content the Canadian government designates must be Canadian. He said that if the requirement is that shows have to have 3% Canadian content, then it doesn't really matter. The giants will be able to do it. But if the number is 30%, companies will be forced to either shrink their catalogs or boost the Canadian content by making a lot of bad television. And this is a very significant challenge right now because these giants exist because they give people choice. Government is now trying to manipulate that, which defeats the purpose of why they're so successful. For True North, I'm Andrew Lutton.